A few seasons have come and gone since the new firm were all powerful in Scottish football, but Dundee United faced a winters of discontent this afternoon. Robbie of that ilk in sensational form for the Dons, putting them ahead after just nine minutes. But it was a cruel deflection of Stefan Leone which fooled Alan Coleman goal. No doubts about the class of United's second goal though, Chris Clark with a cross and Winters in the air. And with finishing like this, it was clearly going to be a long cold afternoon for the Tannadice side. As far as Alan Coleman was concerned, he'd like to send Winters on a long trip. Derek Young scored the third with less than half an hour on the clock. United were in total disarray. Combe pushes clear under pressure from Gundweit, and this time Winters contributes with an assist. But then it really turned sour for United. Darren Young with the next certificate tackle on Jamie Buchan, a former teammate. It brought an instant red card from referee Doug McDonald, and Buchan was taken to hospital with a heavy gash on his leg. United got themselves back into it with a penalty. McQuillan was pulled down by Clark. No doubt about this award. And Craig Easton, with the relevant degree of urgency, did the business from the spot. Suddenly there was a chink of light for Alex Smith's side. But the tide was not for turning. This move began deep in Aberdeen's half, substitute Darren Mackey with the loneliness of the long-distance runner. Alan Combe with the clumsy challenge. Robbie Winters stepped up to complete his hat-trick, 4-1 United. But there's more, at least the Tannadice side showed some fighting spirit, and Steve McConnellog made it 4-2 with a flashing header. Now it was getting really interesting. David Hanna turned up the heat with another goal. This put his team within touching distance of Aberdeen. And the secret of this goal is keeping the ball low. But there was a final twist in the tail. Alan Combe, far from his natural habitat, collided with Stephen Wright, and more importantly, Ian Jess. Jess took the free kick himself, and it was a gem. That's top draw finishing from a player who, when on song, is among the finest in the land. 5-3, Aberdeen. We buck in here. We don't want to see this in Scottish football. No, I mean, I'd rather be talking about Ian Jesse's sure. brilliant free kick than this, but uh, I mean, I think that Dan Young, uh, you know, is quite lucky there that he's not done more serious damage because Jamie Buchan could have had a real sore one there. It's, he's walked away with a cut, but it could have been a lot worse. And I think that uh, I don't know why he's surprised to hit a red card because when you lift your foot like that and give him a straight leg, there's every chance you can hurt a player. And the, and the fellow players don't like to see that sort of challenge and don't like to be involved in anything like that. Okay, thanks very much indeed, Gordon. So let's see how all those results affect the tables today. In the SPL, Celtic stay top after that 1-0 win over Dundee. Martin O'Neill retaining his 100% record with the club. Despite dropping two points at Dunfermline, Hibs stay in second, one point ahead of Rangers who have a game in hand. Keegan Parker scored the only goal in St Johnson's victory over St Mirren. The Perth Saints move up to sixth. Aberdeen jumped two places after that 5-3 drama at Tannadice, which leaves Dundee United firmly rooted at the bottom on two points. Their worst start to a season for 19 years.